basically what I've done is I put Sooty in the other side of the partition. I've just given the gerbils their veggies and this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am trying to have a bit of a more productive day because the last few days I have not been very productive. Just going to make myself a green tea. For breakfast this morning I'm having avocado on rye bread. This has got like chilli flakes, lime juice, salt and pepper. Then I've got like a basil pesto. guys have ever heard of this but I got some kombucha the other day this was from like um, a health food store it's meant to be really good for you because it's like fermenting fermented green tea basically um, I tried some today and it's interesting it's quite fizzy I guess I also got some good old almond butter and this stuff is quite expensive compared to like you get a big thing of peanut butter for like the same price but I do really like almond butter um, but then my mum went to Morrison's and found like a big tub of this um, better value so yeah we've got plenty this is like the crunchy one and this is smooth and butter where is it a sauerkraut this stuff is raw and i'm gonna give this a go by the way if you're wondering this shop is called out of this world and it's in leeds and it's amazing it's like full of vegan stuff i actually got this mascara this is just like the tube the cardboard tube um beauty without cruelty i don't think it's gonna focus on that but I just love this mascara. He's a cutie. Are you gonna not be up to mischief today like last time with the with the knitting, Vinny? Do you remember? Do you remember? Of course you do. You monkey. <laughs> Comment down below if any of you guys are going to the vegan festival in Leeds. It's a week on Sunday. And do you not want to be in the video? Okay. Because in the last video, a few of you said you were going, wanted to know if I was going. I am currently getting ready to do some mucking out for the animals. I also have some updates, which you'll find out very soon. Basically what I've done is I put Sooty in the other side of the partition. I just given the gerbils their veggies and this is the cutest thing ever. Sooty's there. These guys are all over here because he's been acting so not himself lately. He's been bar chewing loads. He's been really fed up and I just feel so bad for him. Um, I just feel so bad that he's by himself. You are sweet. Um, <laughs> you are so cute. Hi, you are very sweet. <laughs> And I honestly think the reason why the aggressive behaviour was triggered in the past with him is just having simply having too much space. This is like a very common trigger in gerbils and I have in the past given my gerbils very large setups to say there's only two of them and they have like a massive cage so I genuinely think that's what triggered it and he's since being put in the split cage, he's been so much better. Stop the bar chewing, he's not bored anymore. He's sleeping next to the others in his nest. He's just so much diff he's a completely different gerbil now. Hey. Hey. I'm just watching the bunnies from the kitchen. Pipe has just been up on that bench over there. Not sure where she's gone now, but Oh, there she is, and Big Wig's over there. So one last thing I quickly want to mention before I get started with all the jobs is that I am working really hard to get these food mixes ready for my shop. Definitely doing pea flakes. I'll probably start off with gerbil food, then expand to hamster food, and I'll be doing guinea pig and rabbit food probably, which is super exciting. I've ordered all the ingredients and just waiting for those to come. Today I need to weigh the animals. This is the book I'm using at the minute. So I normally weigh them every week, but I did miss out a week this time. Sometimes when I make dietary changes, I like to give it like 
an extra week just so it's more accurate for like how the diet change or the cold is affecting them. Aww. gerbils I use a tin like this because they can't really drop out and they climb in themselves like that so this works really well for the for weighing the gerbils. Cuties or oh, Milo's looking after them. See, Sutty's here now. He's made his nest right next to the others, which is nice. in your tin, don't you? improve so much it's not this one but we switch her over Aww. look how amazing it looks you can't even tell the difference I'm like so impressed and yeah so glad that her eyes better because at one point they said she, they might have to remove it so that's amazing how it looks so good she wear you <laughs> you're such a cutie you're so, so, so cute she reminds me of Bugsy of what's it called? Bedtime stories. As you can see, they've all lost a little bit of weight apart from Miffy who's gained 10 grams. Yeah, nothing major, but I'm going to have to up their energy food now. It's getting much colder. Hazel, that was nasty. Turn again. Let Biggie come. Biggie, good boy. No. Let Big Rick have a turn. I'm 
means big wig will just be big wig. See, look, she's getting the treats now because you missed out. Here I've got all the veg for the rabbits today. We've got kale and carrots today. We've got some nice purple kale as well.